The Geneva talks having failed, now in Rome, the high-level working group on the humanitarian challenges of the Syrian crisis sets out to stop the suffering being inflicted on Syrian civilians. Italian Foreign Minister Emma Bonino stresses that helping them is the first priority of all. The Syrian government is assigned all the humanitarian conventions and as much as I do understand the fight against terrorism or extremism, this is not a possible justification for starvation, torture, killings, and so on and so forth. The Assad forces have consistently denied access for humanitarian aid to get through. Populations are being starved. Enclaves are sealed by Syrian army tanks and snipers. 10% of the some 130,000 people killed since the start of the conflict have been children. A recent report details other crimes against civilians, including the regime's use of torture. Civilians have been trapped in cities under siege, where basic supplies can't be brought to them, and others have been able to flee, but getting out does not mean an end to their troubles. Since this time just last year, there are more than four times as many internally displaced persons and four times as many refugees. Over 40% of Syria's population is now in need of humanitarian assistance. So the scale of this challenge is unprecedented. Syria's internally displaced number 6 million people. Lebanon has taken in 750,000. Proportionally, that would be as if the UK had taken in 11 million refugees. Also, Jordan has 660,000. Turkey has 600,000. Iraq has 200,000. Egypt has 120,000. The European Union countries have been criticized by the UN Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres. According to the Guardian newspaper, he said while countries neighboring the conflict are being asked to keep their borders open, many Syrians struggle to find protection in Europe, with reports of people being pushed back from a number of borders. Turkey alone, Guterres said, has received ten times the number of Syrian refugees as all EU member states together.